Hey, my Cancer babies. Welcome to your Aquarius New Moon reading. Let's step into these vibes. I just noticed I have my mic plugged in, so I hope y'all can hear this. Um, listen, make sure you tap in, tune in, and turn on before you play, before you play start. <laughs> We just want to take that as a sign, okay? Plug in, plug in the source before you pop out. Oh, that's a word. Let's get into it. So, it is the Aquarius new moon in you, Cancer, my beautiful Cancer Collective. Um, thank you and welcome back to the channel. And this is your intuitive moon message. This is going to help you get on that good foot with the new moon and um make sure you're in alignment and using it to the benefit um for your greatest and highest good so if you're new what it do i'm raven this is the empress oracle youtube channel and if you are returning i love you lots and i thank you for being here and what's so beautiful is i already wrote down some channel messages and i just love how spirit just comes out the gate and confirms and it's the past Cancer, cancer, cancer. One thing about the past and nostalgia, because some sometimes I think I read actually, I think I read this or I either heard it and I said, and it's something along the lines of it gets to the point that nostalgia is a level of escapism and also sometimes a form of depression. It's you um, being so kindred and attaching your happiness to people experiences places um and things of the past and in in going there often in your mind's eye and in your heart space and in your downtime to the past revisiting the past um and i wrote down i channeled using no Using the past as a tool of wisdom and not a means to inflict self-harm, as in to replay um, resentful experiences, go over past regrets, and as a reference point overall. Like, um, using the past as well, this is what usually happens. So, da -da -da -da. I think you have a lot of unconscious defense mechanisms. And I think these unconscious defense mechanisms sometimes make you rigid in, um, in relationship. You can come off as transactional. You can come off in um, very give give and take, you know. Um, and and when ri ri when unconscious rigidity is met with an unconscious need for you give to me, I take from you. You take from me, I give to you. That type of thing. It it just can get a little. Um, wonky and you will be someone that is often possibly giving to takers um you can find yourself in the empath narcissistic uh limbo of things um to learn a continued lesson over um self-worth what you value in relationships And vulnerability. These could be areas that you're always um, learning painful lessons in cancer for the sake of you needing to become more aware of your unconscious defense mechanisms and your past projections and writing people off um, based off of negative past experiences that you haven't forgiven yourself from or the transgressor. You hold a lot of grudges against people um, and sometimes hold people to unrealistic expectations or have unspoken expectations. Um, and this can be something that kind of blindsides you because, I mean, you may just think people are inherently good or people should just know how to treat you or just should know how to treat people. And that's not the that's not the case. Um it's not that common sense isn't common, which I find myself saying often. Cancer is really just that everybody ain't wired the same. 
and they don't have the same morality they don't have the same heart space they don't have the same um emotional intelligence co uh, compassion comprehension or understanding um you have you may have different definitions than other people so based off other people's definitions i'm pretty sure they can write you off as one way just like you can write them off as one way based on your own personal definitions and if these de these definitions this will i believe this means this or i believe this or whatever if these things aren't said verbatim and aren't understood um out the gate you could you could end up being blindsided or even perpetuating a stance or a position on things that made you come off unclear as well so this is like a really big communication um you really leaning into the power and strength of your heart and being more vulnerable and i feel taking more uh taking time in your relationships taking time to make sure you are being seen at your highest as well as in your highest vibration and allowing yourself to get used to what that feels like um, releasing yourself of unrealistic and unsp unspoken expectations as well as just getting a little bit more clear on the types of relationships and friendships, um, business relationships, all relationships that you really can thrive in. And um, taking your time with people in general. Um, you were in a major reparenting and reprogramming uh, phase of the game. Um, learning how to gentle parent yourself. I feel um, like the healing of this mother energy. I keep looking at the doula uh, word on um, this card and really comforting yourself at this time. Really um, maybe becoming more family oriented in the idea of what your family what your ideal family that you will birth um will look like and what what serves you and really making sure that in this name of the game you are your perfect companion um i'm hearing make sure you and you and god are spade tight right now make sure your relationship with god is solid because this reprogramming and reparenting is going to have you relating to yourself and people in a way in which that serves you, okay? In a way in which that um, puts you in a position to be valued and appreciated for what you bring and vice versa. So I think a good practice is to begin with uh, learning how to speak to everything you love about yourself. First thing, you, when you look in the mirror, I love my skin. I love my hair. I love my body. I love everything about me. I love how amazing I am. I love how soft I am. I love how beautiful my complexion is. Like, speaking to what you love so you can easily speak to what you love in others would be, like, chef's kiss. But right now, more than that, plus um, the energy with this Aquarius new moon is liberating you from your past, liberating you from your past self, liberating you from past stories, giving you the opportunity to um, renegotiate some things, re get get reflect it's, it's a lot of reads reparenting reprogramming reflect renegotiate realign reimagine redo review revise renew all right um take your time and do it right you can do it baby do it tonight take your time so when you see this reading take your time when you revisit this reading as you're literally working your moon magic within um this next two weeks leading up until the full moon like what new seeds are you sowing that you are going to nurture and nourish gently, okay? Compassionately, clearly, comfortingly, okay? Charismatically, okay? I just had to get on a roll with my seeds. I do that sometimes. But um, I just really want you to take this time for yourself. Okay, um, and and when you are in these contemplative modes with just you and God, I don't need you to consider no one or no or no thing more than you are considering you and your overall well being. Okay, you matter. You first. You got it. This is all about you. Okay, so um, what other moon message is here to support 
the dark moon of the past that Cancer is working with. I feel it's given like, you know, a little bit of Phoenix rising from the ashes type of thing. Um, Kundalini rising, really working with your sensual, sacred, feminine energy at this time. Um, allowing yourself to be... I'm hearing exonerated, like um, maybe you need to go ahead and set yourself free from the idea that you have that you think people have of you in their story. I feel like you be thinking more about how other people think of you and that's just a lot of thinking and a lot of misplaced power and consumption of your energy in intertwined in other, everyone else's energy and not um, focused on your betterment, you know? And so we literally have surrender to the divine, a uh, big surrender energy, big surrender energy, because Aquarius, this Aquarius new moon is, is here for you to experiment, for you to get eccentric and edgy and electrified and free to make radical change in you this is in you okay this is your internal world that is really being is giving me the energy of fucking uh of a motherfucking uh of a motherfucking goddamn <laughs> it's giving me the energy of a power washer like like and you are water cancer okay you are the ocean okay your emotions okay so when i get this energy of come on somebody being power washed that is a force, forcefully, that is a force that is pressure behind water to deeply cleanse and penetrate. So when I tell you that you are reprogramming, you are doing some deep rope reprogramming the subconscious uh, right now. You should be, okay? You should be diving deep in some rampaging, some learning to unlearn so that you can start literally circuiting uh, your brain can literally start sending, shooting different circuits and going around new neural pathways because it's the it's the conscious is being made conscious. Your your tape, your tape, your subconscious is 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 needing a new tape. Okay, you need to have a new foundation. Okay. One where you aren't so deeply tethered and subject to the past, to the past versions of you, the past um, problems, you know, just letting it go, freeing yourself. You're ready to leave something behind, Cancer. Fear is stopping you from moving forward, but there is nothing to be scared of. Something in your past needs to be released. It could be a perceived failure, a relationship, a fear created by something that happened to you recently or a long time ago. It's holding you back. An important distinction to make. The dark moon energies of this card are dark as per the expression. It's the darkest before the dawn. That's the darkness we're talking about here. So when this card comes up, you're at a precipice of some kind. Either you fall back into the past or you decide to call all your energies back into you so that you can no longer have a part of your energetic body stuck in the past. Lord, somebody today. The energy around you now holds the literally awesome power of the dark goddess, whom we are all taught to fear, but who in truth helps us break with the past. Clear out negativity now to make space for something new and better. That's the message of this card. Your dreams about the past are a clue to a situation, to your situation. You're about to turn the corner at last. It's the dark before the dawn. There's nothing to fear. Embrace your power. Okay? Pay attention when this card comes up. Because this is one of the most powerful mo moments in the lunar cycle, all right? And it's not something we learn about in most astrology schools. So remember, the dark moon comes at the end of the lunar cycle. We're at the beginning of the lunar cycle. So you have the end and the beginning right here, right now. You can put a end 
to the end and literally embrace, embody, quantum leap, quantum jump, quantum heal into a new beginning with the uh, support of this Aquarius new moon. So I, I really want to get a little more information in regards to what aspect of the past could be possibly plaguing you i feel like you know but let's just see what the oracle has to deliver for the sake of you know just getting a little more clarification for the collective and again this is a general reading it may not resonate with everyone but if it resonates with you i want you to put the light side the light side of the moon they got the little face put the light one okay in the comment section and uh, let me get an affirmation of I, I call like all my power to me. Okay, so you could have had some trauma bonding with an Aquarius in the past. If this is in love, then tell me what it is. It, it's not, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't that. Um, so, and this person could still be playing in your energy, which is causing you to wear your worry, which is causing you to be picking up on, um, you know, just a little bit of the juju that they, that they sling in your way for the sake of they miss you. They want your attention. They wish things didn't happen the way they were. They could be stuck in the past wanting you to be revisiting that same energy with them so that they can get the same advantages off of you that you, again, it, it sounds like this stop breaking your own heart so it, it this could be very much so a relationship that has that is here to teach you a lot and the way in which you may be referring to it the who what when where and why could be crippling your confidence at this time and your ability to embrace your power because who you were versus who you are now and being constantly pulled on by that person, place, thing, situation, or experience is completely two different people. So free yourself from the perspective of them if that's what you are worried about. Maybe you're worried about how they are viewing you or how they are uh, remembering or coming to a conclusion on their experience of you and it's no need to consider because this person has their own lessons and their own karma, um, you know, with, with, with the situation. So if that's for you, that's for you. I, I wanted a more specific message and I got, and I got a more specific message. So, you know, don't be afraid to just really understand that some people are for, are for, a season and they just come to simply teach us how to love ourselves more deeply um but you get into a new place of acceptance about them um if that's the case the the quicker the better this may be something you have released or cut the cord with and, and you need to cut the cord with again for the simple fact that this part has everything to do with you now. Maybe you release them for the sake of them. Now you need to release them fully for the sake of you. Or at least the story. And tapping back into that energy You're, as well. That energy is it's giving energy siphoning. You know? And we don't need anything like that. Being an energetic vampire. Especially when it's us breaking our own heart. Um, stepping back into it, stepping back into the past so much. And it could have been just to the fact that you can't believe that had you fucked up. You know, and that's the ego. Sometimes the ego be like, I really can't believe that. You know, I gave them all, I gave my heart, I was honest, I was real, and I was true. And they really had me fucked up and they really did me that, they really did me wrong. You know, like, that's real. That's real. But um how much how much longer is that story? Um how much more how much more weight is that gonna keep carrying in? In how you do you now, present day, okay? Like, let's be let's be fucking for real and and really release for the sake of our own well being because breaking our own heart is just not it. We just can't do that anymore, okay? You have an ascendant master with you or you are ascending in your level of self master. We have Taurus energy here, so um. Building a really solid foundation. We got spiritual gangster. We got self-validation. We got high spiritual rank. 
We have the Akashic Records and we have Empath, Empathic Healer. So, yeah, um, you are ascending. You are an ascended master. Your ascended masters are walking this path with you. You do have the power of empathy as well as the, empower, the power to heal others through your empathic nature. But again, the empath, narcissist, tango, mango, you have to have a high level of self-worth and understanding and overstanding for you to always to be able to stand in your authority when dealing with um narcissistic people who can be manipulative and play on your heartstrings okay remember your rank remember how just just how locked in you are remember i said don't forget to plug in before you pop out don't forget to plug in before you pop out. Adjust your fucking crown before you walk out the door. Okay? Understand who you are and whose you are. So, in the face of any person, place, or thing, you ain't got to worry about nothing. You self-validated and certified by spirit. Okay? This Taurus energy is just reminding me. It's just, just giving the energy of, like, be stubborn about getting on your shit, bitch. Okay? Be stubborn about it. Be real about it. Be tangible. Be in the field with it. Be in your harvest season. Harvesting clear beautiful thoughts new fresh seeds and sowing them okay reaping what you sow you will reap what you sow what you pour in you will get out so if you pour in goodness graciousness positive words of affirmation love understanding self-validation clear uh, just you know affirming your clarity as well as just okay we have pisces energy so we have pisces and taurus so you might be meeting a pisces and taurus getting assistance from a pisces and taurus you need to watch the pisces and taurus reading you could have pisces and taurus in your big three maybe in your venus as well listen whatever the case may be cancer i need you to hear me good i need you to hear me clearly fucking around with a lower frequency ain't gonna free you from this fuckery I told you I like to do that sometimes. Okay, um, what you get, what you put in, you will get out. Your mind, thoughts, become things. It's time for you to be a conscious co-creator and stop being a sloppy, non-deliberate manifester for the sake of the fact that you like, I guess, walking around. What was me? Maybe not what was me to everybody, but to some people, you play that, you play that card. So, or or just with yourself um the if if thinking about the past makes you feel self pity or pathetic then maybe you need to just call on your higher self for the wisdom and understanding for the betterment of your own well being so you can refer to the past and think of yourself as empowered okay empowered and powerful okay bitch okay just if you gotta think about if, if when you refer to if when you refer to the past it makes you uh get petty pop out pop out of that and pour in okay pour in pour in some some truth um get you uh a higher a higher vibration a higher dose of understanding before you commit to that story all right um, I hope this made sense. Nine times out of it did. Nine times out of ten it did. So, um, cancer, yeah, make sure you put the light skin moon in the in, in, in the description box and and pop some pussy for your power. All right, bye. Good night. I'll be back.